Welcome to our in-depth examination of the Boeing 737 MAX series, a significant player in the aviation industry. This aircraft was designed to be the future of commercial aviation, promising efficiency, comfort and advanced technology. However, two catastrophic crashes, Lion Air Flight 610 in 2018 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 in 2019, brought its safety into question. These incidents led to worldwide scrutiny and unprecedented actions in the aviation world. Join us as we delve into the details of this impactful series of events. The Boeing 737 MAX series, an advanced modification of previous 737 models, boasted several new features. The series was designed with an eye to efficiency sporting larger engines and aerodynamic improvements that promised up to 14 percent better fuel economy than its predecessors the max series also introduced new technologies to the 737 line one significant addition was the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system or mcas which we'll delve into more in the next scene this system was intended to enhance the handling of the aircraft and maintain consistent flight characteristics across the 737 family. However, it wasn't just about technical advancements. The 737 MAX series was also designed with a focus on comfort, featuring an upgraded cabin with larger windows and LED lighting, aiming to improve the overall passenger experience. Despite these advancements, major challenges lay ahead for the 737 MAX series. The journey of the 737 MAX series from development to disaster was marked by a series of critical events. The story begins with the development of the Boeing 737 MAX, a project launched by Boeing in the year 2011. This new aircraft was intended to be a more efficient and longer range version of the already popular 737 series. By the year 2017, the 737 MAX was certified and entered into service, quickly becoming a favorite among airlines worldwide. However, less than a year into its service, the first of the two major crashes occurred. On October 29, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 plunged into the Java Sea just minutes after taking off from Jakarta. Tragically, all 189 people on board were killed. Just five months later, in March of 2019, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 met a similar fate. The plane crashed shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa, resulting in the loss of all 157 lives on board. The common thread between these two crashes was the Boeing 737 MAX, and more specifically, a new feature called the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCIS. This system was designed to automatically adjust the aircraft's nose position to prevent stalling. However, in both crashes, it appeared that the MCS was receiving faulty data from a sensor, causing it to force the nose of the plane down at inappropriate times. These sensor malfunctions, paired with an MCS system that pilots were largely untrained to deal with, created a deadly combination. In both cases, the flight control system responded to erroneous sensor data causing the planes to enter a fatal dive that the pilots were unable to correct. These technical issues would prove to be fatal, sparking a major investigation. This investigation would reveal a series of missteps from design flaws to regulatory oversights that ultimately led to one of the most tragic chapters in aviation history. The Federal Aviation Administration's FAA certification of the 737 MAX series came under scrutiny in the wake of the crashes. The FAA, as you may know, is tasked with ensuring that any aircraft flying in American skies meets rigorous safety standards. Its certification process involves thorough testing and examination of an aircraft's design, systems and performance. Yet in the case of the 737 MAX, questions were raised about the integrity of this process. Some critics suggested that Boeing, the very company producing the aircraft, had too much influence over its certification. They questioned whether the FAA had outsourced too much of its safety assessment responsibilities to the company itself. Investigations into the crashes by the National Transportation Safety Board and other international aviation agencies sought to unravel these complex threads. They delved into the technical, regulatory and human factors that contributed to these tragic events. 
and what they found was deeply concerning. The investigations revealed that crucial safety features were considered optional extras by Boeing and that the MCS system was susceptible to single point failure. They also highlighted the lack of adequate training for pilots transitioning to the new 737 MAX series. These investigations revealed a host of problems that would have far reaching consequences. They exposed gaps in oversight, raised concerns about the relationship between manufacturers and regulators, and ultimately led to a global rethinking of how we approach aviation safety. The crashes had a profound impact on Boeing, the aviation industry, and the public's trust in air travel. The legal and financial consequences for Boeing were severe, with hefty lawsuits and settlements that shook the company to its core. These incidents spurred changes in regulatory practices as authorities worldwide realized the need for more stringent safety protocols. The broader implications for the aviation industry were also significant, leading to a shift in industry standards and practices. Public perception of air travel was undeniably affected, with many questioning the safety of modern aircraft. Yet it's crucial to remember that these tragic events also triggered a wave of improvements in the aviation industry. The key takeaway from the Boeing 737 MAX case study is this. Aviation safety is an ongoing journey. It's a continuous cycle of learning, adapting and refining. The Boeing 737 MAX series serves as a stark reminder of the importance of ongoing vigilance and improvement in the aviation industry.